spine and into the brain. And then depending on that and how we're reading that information, we have something called the glandular system that is kind of um, creating chemistry for those um, to react to the nervous system. So they are always working together. They're supposed to really like uh, help each other. And your, your glandular system that I call it your pharmacy uh, should be giving you what you need, okay? Many times because maybe traumatic things, too much stress or different things that happen into our life, instead of being best friends, they start like um, making the life difficult to each other. So what we're doing today is like really balancing the nervous system and the glandular system so they can be friends again. So when you realize that you need something because the body is reacting and your mind is reacting, the glandular system can start uh, producing something that it, uh, it will help you. Okay, so that's the main thing that we're going to be working today. And also realizing that the nervous system has two different parts. We call it the sympathetic, that is one that makes you alert to react, and the parasympathetic, that is the one that makes you to rest and restore. These two also, they need to be balanced on the inside. Um, so I will give you some tips. We're going to do like a very short meditation by the end, but it's something that I want you to have it kind of in your toolbox so you can use it at any moment when you feel that the emotions are really going high and you need to balance them out, it will help you a lot and it will take like a few, few moments. It's quite short, but really, really work. Okay, so I will plug my, um, I will start plugging my speakers and we're going to start with the class. Okay, so start finding like a really good uh, sitting position. So start coming into a sitting position. And it's beautiful we are all here at the same time, sharing that space from different parts of the world. So this is really, really amazing. Thank you everyone for coming. And we are going to start closing the eyes. When we close the eyes, we're looking in between the eyebrow, the space in between the eyebrow. Why are we looking there? Because we have the most important gland. It's called the pituitary gland. And it's like the main pharmacy of the body. So it's there in between the eyebrow and your brain is very little. It's very small, like the size of a pea. But it produces a lot of the hormones and control a lot of the other glands of the body. So we call it the master gland. So we start looking into that space. On your brain also that space is called the frontal cortex and it's where you take decisions, it's where you're able to have dreams and make them true and move forward with that, without your ideas. So start bringing all the attention here, all the attention there. As today we're giving a nice balance into the nervous system and the glandular system so they can be friends, they can support each other. Knowing that we have inside of us all the tools that we need, all the tools that we need. So we're going to start rubbing the pants. We're going to bring the hands into the front of the heart and we're going to start rubbing, rubbing the pants. Rubbing the pants. And we bring the hands into the sternum, the heart center, the thumb are touching the sternum. Roll the shoulders up and down a few times. So yes, we make them to relax. And every Kundalini class we start by chanting Om Namo Gurudev Namo. That means that we're bowing into the creative consciousness and we're bowing into the teacher that resides in each of us. So we're going to inhale to start chanting. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om 
Hold the breath in. And as you inhale, you squeeze the muscle from the base of the pelvis, you open the chest, you keep the chin in. And exhaling, we release the hands down towards the knees and index to thumb is touching. And we keep closing the eyes. And softly, we're going to start waking up the energy. So the hands are going to be on the knees. And we're going to go backward and forward and side. And I really want you to close the eyes. You're looking in between the eyebrows. So you're looking into your pituitary gland. Glands are very sensitive. They really connect into our emotional system. So whatever are the emotion that consciously or unconsciously were holding in, they react to that. But at the same time, if we put attention, if you start looking at them and if we bring our energy into them, they start waking up. So I invite you to softly start moving and breathing as we start waking up the body and waking up also the gland. So start breathing in and out, moving, moving, well done, that's it, creating your own, own rhythm, your own freedom from the inside. In mind that you're creating like a spiral from the base of the pelvis. That's it. And then slowly we go towards the front and we reverse into the opposite side. We reverse into the opposite side. Imagine that you're creating an infinite spiral from the base of the pelvis, from the base of the pelvis. Move. Move. Well done. Looking in between the eyebrow. Softly waking up the energy, your spirit, your physical body. So every single aspect of yourself is helping the other one. And we're able to integrate ourselves. Well done. Inhaling, hold the breath in. Keep the chin in, open the chest, squeeze the energy from the base of the pelvis, hold it, make that body stronger. Hold it. Hold it. Keeping your spine long, exhaling, releasing, all the way out, all the way out. Well done. Stay here, close the eyes. Keep feeling that infinite spiral moving from the base of the pelvis all the way up. Feel that, that hip happening within yourself. Just feel it. Have an embodiment of that energy moving from the base of the pelvis. Moving from the base of the pelvis. And we're going to start bringing the sole of the feet together like this. Look at me. We hold the hands on the feet. And on the inhalation, we open the chest forward. So if you want to see from the side, inhaling, you really open the chest. Exhaling, you round. Inhaling, you open the chest. Exhaling, round. 
Very good. That's it. Very good. So the hands and the feet. Inhaling, you go forward. Exhaling, backward. Mm. Mm. feel a bit of pressure on the kidneys remember on the top of the kidneys we have the adrenal glands very important for the sympathetic nervous system that is the flight or fight response that makes you being alert so imagine that you are massaging the kidneys you are massaging your adrenal gland as you move inhaling open exhaling round Find your own rhythm. Mm. 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 Breathing, moving, the inhalation take you forward, the exhalation take you back. A few seconds, go even a bit more faster. Mm. 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 Very good. Keep breathing, moving really fast. Like waking up that energy, waking up that energy, and inhaling. Hold the breath in. Hold the breath. Hold, hold the breath. Open the chest. Keep the chin in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It and exhaling, let it go, let it go. Stay here, closing the eyes, looking in between the eyebrow, feeling the openness on your chest. Feel that space, close the eyes. And we're going to start bringing the, so I will be your mirror. We're going to bring the right leg towards the right side. So bring the right leg towards the right side like this. Remember, I'm always mirroring you. I'm your mirror. So we go forward the more we can. We go the forward the more we can. Bring the hands into the heart. And I invite you to inhale and really open up, open up, open up, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then exhaling, inhaling, open, exhaling, fold. So inhaling, opening up, exhaling down, inhaling, open, exhaling down, inhaling, open, exhaling down. And I invite you that when you open up the arm, really stretch your heart up towards the sky, exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel your own rhythm. Build it up. Yeah. Opening and stretching. Exhaling, folding over the leg. Inhaling, open, exhaling, folding. Finding your own, own rhythm. Throw open everything you're looking up, exhaling down, inhaling, you're opening up, exhaling down, inhaling, exhaling. Mm. Mm. Very good. Few more moments here. Opening and closing. Opening and closing. And inhaling, open up. Hold the breath. Open, extend the arms. Up, 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 up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold the breath. Exhaling, come back here, center. Let it go, close the eyes, feel the energy, how it keeps moving through your chest. Breathing, 
a very good closing the eyes and breathing it's all about today how we learn from the inside to balance ourselves how we have tools so we can access those tools at any moment and within ourselves we find the balance you know exactly what you need to do your body always knows, always knows. And we're going to start moving into the opposite direction. So open the opposite leg. And once again, we go forward. Maybe you can hold into a big toe. Or here, inhaling, stretching the arm up, stretch, stretch. You're stretching the heart meridian, exhaling, folding. Inhaling, open up. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, open, exhaling, fall, breathing. Mm. Long inhalation, full extending, exhaling, moving down. Mm. 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 Opening, closing. Expanding completely. Mm. Finding your own rhythm. Mm. 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 That's it. Very good. Find a space on your heart. Open up into the sky. Exhaling, folding. Open up into the sky, exhaling, folding. Last few more moments. Inhaling up, hold the breath. Open up, stretch, 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 stretch. Stretch with your heart meridian, stretch up. And exhaling, come back here. Here we are. Come back into your normal breath. Feel your spine really on the center. Keep looking in between the eyebrow. Keep stimulating the pituitary gland. We're learning to build the balance from the inside. So we can face any situation. The times that are coming now is all about that how you're going to deal with everything that is happening on the outside from an inner peace. Knowing that is nothing on the outside that is going to save us, only our own awareness, our own consciousness. Our ability to be connected to something bigger than us, the ability to be connected into an infinite energy very good well done we're going to bring the legs towards the front like this so i will show you from the side inhaling we open up we open up we open up exhaling and in the inhalation we come up exhaling down it's like you're trying to bring the belly into your tight muscle not your head into your shins so move from the belly it's a powerful kriya by itself for the immune system. Keep the chin slightly in. Keep looking in between the eyebrows and start coming up and down. Up and down. Finding your own rhythm. Finding your own rhythm. Inhaling, exhaling, building your rhythm. Powerful breath. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. <laughs> Build your rhythm. Do it from your navel. Do it from your core. That's it. Very good. Very good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Very good. Keep building up. 
strong, powerful breath, inhaling up, exhaling lower. Well done, well done. Inhaling, hold the breath in, keep the chin in, keep the chin in, exhaling, come all the way up here. Sitting bones, feeling really grounded, crown of the head up, stay here a few moments, spine long, chin slightly in, breathing in and out. Close the eyes, you're looking in between the eyebrow. You're looking in between the eyebrow. Well done, very good. We're going to come into rock pose. So you're going to be sitting on the heels. Hands go into the shoulders. Inhaling, we go towards the left. Remember, I'm your mirror. Exhaling right, inhaling left, exhaling right. As we start moving side to side, it's called the washing machine. And it's a powerful detoxifying movement. It allows to get rid of a lot of toxins from the inside of the body. So inhaling left, exhaling right. Mm. Mm. Start building your own rhythm with your breathing. Mm. This is the way that you take care of yourself. We don't need to build things inside our body. We don't need to accumulate things. We can flush the body out. So we get rid of everything that we don't need. Keep moving, inhaling, exhaling, side to side, side to side. That's it. Well done. Last few moments moving side to side, side to side, inhaling left, exhaling right, moving, breathing. A few seconds, almost there. Well done. Very, very good. Very, very good. Inhaling, hold the breath, center. Squeeze the muscle from the base, open the chest, keep the chin in. Exhaling, let it go. Release. Hands and the thighs, index to thumb. Stay here, softly breathing for a few more moments. Very good. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. We can come into all four. So we're going to be here. Inhaling, opening up the spine. Arching, exhaling, rounding. This is the number one exercise to keep your spine young with mobility, with flexibility. Feel that you're completely fluid. Inhaling up, exhaling down, rounding, inhaling open. Inhaling, open, exhaling, rounding. Mm. Breathing, opening up, exhaling, rounding. Looking in between the eyebrows. Mm. Mm. 
That's it. A few moments, moving, expand, expanding, rounding, opening your heart and rounding your spine. Even start moving a bit more faster. Start moving a bit more faster. Inhaling, hold the breath in, open up, art, art, open, 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 hold it. Exhaling, round your spine, get all the air out of your lungs. Hold the exhalation. Inhaling, come back here into a neutral position. And we're going to give a nice stretch, so we come up into triangle pose. And we stretch the leg. If you're a bit tight on the back of the leg, you can bend one knee on the other one. You can do this. Press the hands, make sure that all the knuckles and the finger pad are pressing down on the floor, on shoulder distance. And then press, press the hands, the feet, sitting bones up higher, up towards the ceiling. That's it, go there. Breathing, stretching, breathing. Give yourself a nice, nice stretch through the whole spine. Feel the waistline being really long. And then slowly come down here. We go into child pose. And slowly we start rolling one vertebrae after the other one, slowly coming up, slowly unfolding. Nothing to come up is ahead, slowly unfold. And you can start making your way into a sitting position. So look at me, I might need your full attention. We are going to have um, we're going to have the arms by the side. So usually when we're working with the glandular system, it's always a lot of the work through arms. Okay, we have a lot of nodes and a lot of things. And also this is the heart meridian. So usually we, we open that up through the arms. So what I want, we're going to bring the arms by the side, like this. So be careful because they're going to tend to become heavy but I want you to keep them light. So you're keeping the arms up like this. Okay, if you see, I have my palms really open. You can see it from there. And then I will start moving just the middle finger. Some other fingers will move too. Okay, that's okay. And, and then I want you to start synchronizing the breathing and the movement of the finger. So inhaling as you extend, exhaling as it bends. So you become in this powerful breath. So that's what we're doing. You're going to be looking in between the eyebrow here. Okay? So we're really, I want you to feel, just bring the arms down. I want you to feel that you are not alone. I want you to feel that you have many different friends in different parts of the world that are supporting you on this mission that we have. That is the movement of this little, but it's like by, um, by moving them, we're stimulating usually different part of the brain. So what we usually do with the finger is making like, making new connections through a nervous system. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So I invite you to start bringing the arms up and inhaling and exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. And we, you give yourself a good smile. You open your wings, your arms by the side. That's it, very, very good. And we start moving the fingers. That's it. Very, very good. I know that it's not easy to have the arms up. It's not easy. I know. And they become really heavy and they start feeling heavy. But I invite you to do it for yourself, for everyone that is in this group from different parts of the world. Let's make our nervous system stronger. 
so we don't become so overreactive. We're not really reacting. We can read the situation exactly as it is. So keep moving the middle finger. Keep moving the middle finger. I can see you, everyone. It's amazing. So stay there. Stay there. Well done. In mind that you have so much strength, so much commitment. It's like nothing can bring you down. Nothing can bring you down. You are moving. You are moving. Open those arms. Open your wings and keep ex extending that middle finger. I promise what you're doing here and feel so painful on your hands, it's like really awakening up your brain and your nervous system. We're really making change from the inside. So it's a stimulation. I know it's difficult. You can make it. You can totally make it. Don't give up looking between the eyebrows. Make your brain to do its best. Make the nervous system to do its best and make the glandular system to be stimulated so we can produce all the chemistry that we need. Very, very good. Don't stop. Keep moving. Keep those elbows extend completely. Here we are. Don't give up. Don't give up. Well done. Beautiful, everyone. Beautiful. That's it. That's the attitude. Moving, breathing. Find the balance on your breath and the movement of the middle finger. I know they feel very heavy, but we're all feeling the same. From different parts of the world, we're coming together. Feel that you're totally supported by your friend. Stay here, stay here. You're going to conquer your nervous system, you need to continue with me. Just continue, just continue. Very, very good, very, very good. Amazing, everyone. Last few seconds, you can make it. Everyone can make it. Let's do it together, last 30 seconds. Let's do it together, the last 30 seconds. Well done, that's it, you can do it. Open the elbows, open the elbows. Move, 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 move. That's it, that's it. Inhaling, hold the breath. And extend, extend, extend. Feel so much space on your arms. Feel like you're holding yourself. Hold the breath. Keep all that energy inside of you. And then exhaling. Release the hands down towards the knees. Well done. Amazing, everyone. It's the first time that I do this with people different part of the world. And you're able to make it for yourself. Close the eyes, index to thumb, touching. Feel all of that energy being released into the system. All that stimulation that we were creating from the inside. All that stimulation. Long, deep breathing. Just for a few moments, feel it. Close the eyes, be so quiet, so still, that you can feel those subtle energies within yourself. You can feel it. You can get, you can get in contact with that inner strength. You made it. Well done. Very good. Very, very good. If you need to readjust, move the legs or anything, this is the moment. This is the moment. If you need to do any adjustment, drink water or whatever you need to do, this is the moment. Otherwise, remain very quiet, very still. You're looking in between the eyebrows. We're going to bring the arms towards the front like this. So remember, I am your mirror. So the left hand will come on the top of the right one. I'm doing your mirror, you need to do exactly as me. The left hand is on the top of the right one. 
We're going to keep the elbows really straight. So look at me, I'm having my elbows really straight. And we're going to start moving side to side. And the breathing will start moving with the same rhythm of the movement of the arms. You're keeping your elbows extend completely. You're looking in between the eyebrow and you're moving side to side. You're moving side to side. Keep your spine on the center. Move side to side. Remember, it's like we're giving a kick, we're giving a push into the nervous system and the glandular system. So no one say that this road is going to be easy, but I promise you that it's so worth it. When you know how to stimulate your own body, you start having so many tools on your box. Move side to side, side to side. Find your own rhythm with the breath. The breath starts to accommodate into a powerful movement and you're going side to side, side to side. Keep those elbows straight, very important. Keep those elbows straight as we move, as we move. And even the birds are singing for us here so we can keep moving. We don't give up, we don't give up. We move side to side, we move side to side. Well done. And we keep moving and you keep smiling and you're going side to side, side to side. You get so much into your own rhythm, like nothing will stop you. You're so into your rhythm. That's it, that's it. Keep looking in between the eyebrow. We're almost there. Keep the elbow straight. Keep moving side to side. Well done. Feel that the energy comes from your navel. There's a fire within you, the commitment, your willpower. And we keep, keep, keep moving. Keep, keep, keep moving. That's it. Last few seconds. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And inhaling, hold the breath. Exhaling, releasing the hands down on the knees. Beautiful, everyone, beautiful. Close your eyes and feel the stimulation that is coming from the inside. Feel all of that energy moving and flowing into every corner of your body. Feel it, enjoy that, own that. Be in that space. Be in that space, surrender completely. We don't need to give internal fight with ourselves. We lose so much energy by doing that. Instead of supporting us, what we do many times, we just boycott ourselves. Feel that you can support you. You can stimulate your energy. If you need to stretch the leg, you're welcome to do it. You can take a few moments, just stretch the leg, give a nice shake. Very good. So then we are going to come back into easy pose. Give yourself a nice stretch, open the arms up if you wish. Let's move side to side for a few moments. That's it. 
and then we bring the arms down. We're going to extend forward. We bring the thumb here. We close the fingers around, so we create a fist with the thumb on the inside. The arms are completely straight. So look at me, the arms are completely straight. And we're going to start moving the left arm up and the right one lower, and we're going to start moving into opposite side. The elbow is completely straight. Mm. 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 And we start moving. And when you're massaging the lymphatic system that is on your armpit. And also it's like a lot of terminal, the nerve terminal on the armpit. So it's, we are always massaging there in Kundalini Yoga, creating a good circulation. Keep bringing the arm up and down, up and down. Mm. Balancing the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, the fly of fight response, and the rest and restore. We need both to survive. And they need to relate to each other, they need to be integrated. So, coming up and down, up and down, up and down, breathing and moving. Keeping your elbow the more straight that you can. That's it. Inhaling up, exhaling lower. Finding your own rhythm, you're looking in between the eyebrows. Keep your gaze set. Move, 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 move. Don't stop. Keep moving. I can see you. I can see you, everyone. Keep moving the arms up and down, up and down. Power yourself with the energy that you don't even know that you have, but you have it. Bring that energy up. Feel that you're almost massaging deep inside into your heart, into the whole chest. That's it. Crown of the head up, you're looking in between the eyebrow. Don't stop. Don't boycott yourself. JC, many times that we work together here at the place retreat, he said that we have a strong, strong, strong internal saboteur. So I want you to go beyond that. I know that we all have a voice that say, please, I want to stop. What happens if you continue? What happens if you continue and you defeat that? And you find your inner strength. Something bigger that resides inside of us, but we don't even know it. We don't have access to that. I'm inviting you today to have access to that power inside of you as you move the arms up and down and up and down. And it's such a silly movement, but it makes so much from the inside. It means so much for your nervous system. It means so much for your glandular system. And it means so much for your own inner commitment, the ability to connect deep inside to yourself and know that you have the capacity to move forward. That's it. Last few moments. Last few moments. Moving up and down. Up and down. And up and down. That's it. That's it. That's it. Inhaling both arms here. Hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold it in. Hold it, hold it. Exhaling, releasing hands down on the knees. Give yourself the bigger smile ever. Give yourself the bigger smile ever because you made it. You made it. Well done. Well done. Feel that energy flowing one more time from the inside. Feel that energy flowing from the inside. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Stay really quiet for a few moments. I want you to get in touch with that energy that comes from the inside. 
that many times we don't have access to that. But it's that all the potential resides within you, everything. It's our journey to unfold them. It's our own journey to unfold our gift and to share them with, our, with the people that we love, with the people that we work, with our community. Feel that all of that goodness live within yourself. Live within yourself. Very good. Very, very good. Stay here a few more moments. Breathing. Breathing. Keep looking in between the eyebrows. We can produce everything that we need. You have your own pharmacy within you. Very, very good. So you can stretch the leg if you need. Do any movement that you may need. Do any movement that you may need. You can stretch the leg, you're very welcome. And we're moving into kind of the last exercise of this set. And we are going to have, we did this at the beginning, just to prepare, we're going to have the feet touching like this. So it's like a butterfly pose, okay? I want everyone in a butterfly pose. So for the hands, for men, the right thumb is going to be on the top of the left one. For women, the left thumb is going to be on the top of the right one, okay? So for men, the right thumb on the top of the left one. For women, the left one on the top of the right, okay? So interlock the fingers. And look at me, we're going to extend the arm forward like this. And we're going to inhale. And we bring the knees up and the arm up. And exhaling. Mm. 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 So I invite you, it's a lot of things that we hold it. So I invite you to cut through all of those layers, all of those walls, and everything that so many times we build on the outside of ourselves just to protect us. But at the same time, they isolate us from the world and from the feelings and from the emotions and from the real contact. So I'm, Inhaling up, exhaling lower, and I invite you to start demolishing that, cutting through that. Mm. So start finding your own rhythm. Mm. 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 And cut through. Mm. Mm. Inhaling knees and arms up, exhaling lower. Mm. 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 Cut everything that you need to cut now. Dissolve anything that you might need to dissolve. And use the movement and the exercise to cut through. Many times it's the physical suffering, the pain, whatever you feel that you need, the fear, whatever you need to move forward from that. Inhaling, exhaling, and move, and move. That's it. Very good. Very good. Keep moving. Like nothing will stop you in your own journey. Mm. 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 Very good. Keep your spine straight. Keep looking in between the eyebrows. Very well done. Don't stop. Feel like you're in a mission, in a journey. Mm. You have all the energy that you need. You know from where to gather that energy so you can move forward and cut it through. Mm. 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 
A few seconds, keep moving through, keep cutting through. That's it. Very good, everyone. You're doing amazing. Last few moments. Mm, 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 mm. Inhaling up, hold the breath. Up, 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 up into the sky. Up, hold the breath, hold the breath. Exhaling. Release. Release those hands into the knees, index of thumb touching. Feel it. Be that. Very good. Close your eyes. Feel so much space on the inside. So many things, so many layers that we build. Feel that you have cut through some of them and it's giving you so much space, so much space on the inside, so much inner strength. Feel it, enjoy that. Breathe into that space. Breathe into that space, own it. That space is available for you at any moment, at any, any moment, it's always there. It will never go away. It will never go away. Keep looking in between the eyebrow. Keep looking in between the eyebrow. That's it, well done, very good. We're coming back into easy pose, Sukhasana. If you need to do any stretch or extend the leg forward, you can do it. Before the Shavasana, we're going to do a bit of breathing. So remember, I am your mirror. So I want everyone right hand to be looking down. So do exactly as I'm doing as a mirror. And the left hand is looking up. So I am your mirror. Right hand is looking down and the left hand is looking up. So this is a bit of brain food. This is for your brain. We're going to be looking here in between the eyebrow. We're going to start moving the hands like this. And we're inhaling in eight stroke and we're exhaling in eight stroke. So go something like this. <laughs> So by each stroke, you're moving the hands, okay? Eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. We start at the same time. So remember, right hand for everyone looking down, left hand looking up, I'm your mirror. And we start, eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. <laughs> Keep looking in between the eyebrow. <clears throat> Keep your spine long, looking in between the eyebrow, eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. <laughs> Close the eyes. Keep the focus, it's very important. Eight stroke inhale, eight stroke exhale. Thank you. 
Keep the focus, keep breathing. Eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. <laughs> inhaling and turn the hands opposite way so the right hand is looking up, the left hand is looking down. Eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. Keep looking in between the eyebrows. Keep looking in between the eyebrow, eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. <laughs> Eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. Keep looking in between the eyebrow. What you're doing here is for your brain. <laughs> Inhaling, turn the hands opposite side so the right hand is looking down, the left hand is looking up. Once again, start the movement. Eight stroke inhaling, eight stroke exhaling. <laughs> Eight stroke in, eight stroke out, finding your rhythm. A few seconds, keep moving the hands. Inhaling in eight stroke, exhaling in eight stroke. Last few seconds, almost there. Very good, everyone. Very, very good. <laughs> And then we're going to stop the movement of the hand. We're going to stop the breathing and we're going to come back into normal breath. And I want you to bring your full attention into your hands. Feel that your right hand is looking down, is giving. Feel that your left hand is looking up, is receiving. And I want you to feel that your that flow and that's life is giving and receiving and is giving and receiving. And in that energy of giving and receiving, we are connected to everyone around us. And we feel in that way that we're connected into all the human beings in this world. To the energy of giving and receiving. 
And in this time that we're kind of isolating ourselves with our own families or in the houses that we live, we realize how important is that flow. How important is that flow of giving and receiving energy and loving people and receiving the love. And we miss them many times. We miss the people that we cannot see at the moment. We miss the hug and the touching and the love and the connection. We miss that connection. I want you to feel here and now that within you that flow is happening, the giving and receiving flow. I want you to feel that flow is within yourself. In this moment, even if you feel a bit isolated, you're giving and receiving. And feel that that connects you into like a universal energy bigger than us. That connects you into something infinite. Very good. Well done. Beautiful, everyone. Beautiful. Hold that space for yourself. Just a few more moments. Few more moments. And when you feel ready, you're very welcome to start moving down for a little relaxation. Shavasana, lie down on the floor so you can relax. You can integrate everything that you have done. Make your way down into the floor so you can integrate all the movement. You're down on the floor. Scan your body for a few moments. Go to every corner and make sure that you are relaxing every corner of the body. Let it go completely. Let it go completely. Relax all the way down. Relax all the way down. Breathing. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Relaxing the whole body down on the floor. Relaxing the whole body down on the floor. Very, very good. Take a few moments there. Breath becomes so soft, so soft within yourself, totally relaxing, letting go completely, relaxing every corner, every cell. Feel that with the rhythm of your breathing, you're breathing into every single cell of your body, completely relaxed. Create some space for healing. Create some space for healing.
and slowly, slowly start to come back into your body awareness. You start moving the fingers and the toes, maybe stretching the arms over your head, give a nice stretch down on the floor, stretch side to side. If you want, you can hug the knees into your chest like this. You hug the knees, you move side to side as you massage. We're going to open the right arm, the right leg, keep bend with twist to the left. So you bring the right leg towards the left. Give a little bit of a twist. And then you come back centered and we go into the opposite side. Left shoulder stay grounded, the left leg go towards the right. Stretch, stretch. Go for a twist, it helps you to ground your back. We bring the feet up and the leg and the sh we shake the hands and the feet. We can rotate the ankles and the wrist. We wrap the sole of the feet and the palms. We rock and roll back and forward until we come back into a sitting position. Okay. So we come back into a sitting position and we are going to end it up with a very, very simple meditation. So I learned this long before I was teaching uh, Kundalini Yoga. So I had, I have only girls and when they were having like a tantrum and they were very, being really emotional and almost out of control, what I will always do, I will give them a glass of water and then they will come down, okay? So the water element is kind of the, when you drink the water, you're giving yourself the water element and it's the, ele it's the water is kind of balanced, the emotions, emotion are related to water. So when you're feeling really like overwhelming, what you do is you drink a glass of water. So if you have the water by the side, please drink it. So usually, when they were behaving like that and they drink water, they will come down. So when you're feeling really emotional and a bit like out of control and you don't know how to manage yourself, you drink one glass of water. Then you're going to bring the hands like this under your armpit, okay? We're going to bring the shoulders a bit up. So look at me first, we're here. You can look into the tip of the nose if you can. So you leave the eyes slightly open and you're looking into the tip of your nose. You're bringing the shoulders up. And we're doing something very simple. We're going to start inhaling very soft, very slowly, until your chest is completely full. And then you're exhaling slowly, getting the air all the way out. Keep the shoulders up, inhaling. Exhaling. Slowly getting the air out. Inhaling, make your chest full, but really slowly. Exhaling all the way out. Keep looking into the tip of your nose. Controlling and slowing the inhalation and the exhalation. Very softly inhaling, exhaling. Try to slow down the breathing the more you can. Everything within yourself becomes so, so slow, so, so slow. You can 
feel your chest expanding, you can feel your chest constructing on the exhalation. Get into that rhythm, get into that flow. You are your breath, you become your breath, you become the rhythm of the breathing. Keep looking into the tip of your nose, softly inhaling, softly exhaling. We're going to release and just inhale and extend the arms up. Hold the breath. And exhaling, release the hands down on the knees. Close the eyes for a few moments. If you do that, you drink a glass of water. You do that breathing from three to five minutes. It will change your emotions very quickly. It will give you balance and you feel a bit like you're losing your ground. The most powerful way to do that is our own breathing. So by having the hands in that position, you become the breath. You become one with the breath. Very good. Going to start bringing the hands into the heart center. The palm are touching the sternum. And we are going to finish the class singing three satnam. The mantra means that true is your essence, true is your identity. It's a very long sat and a short nam. So we do this together to finish our practice. Okay? Inhaling deep. So Satnam, everyone. Thank you so much. It was really, really wonderful to share with everyone.